Okay, so I've been improving on the collection system. No longer is it just a water stream to uh, to just pick it up. Uh, Mayan sent me a uh, a design to like push blocks up to this space, and then I'm using pistons to and then a du double piston extender to get it up to the top. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So if I throw a block into here, it'll hit the pressure plate, go up on that block. And then get pushed all the way up like that. It is a little glitchy to look at on a server, for me especially, but it does work as far as I can tell most of the time. 100% of the time with like one block. And there we go, it gets pushed up there, so if we come up the stairs, you'll see there's the two blocks up there. Bloop, like that. Uh, the redstone's kind of wacky. <laughs> uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I tried to condense it as much as I could, but without like spending way too much time on it. And it's pretty good. It's not too bad, not really bad. Now I'm curious, okay, because the farm hasn't I haven't haven't really tested this with more than like three items at a time. So if I chuck this in here, like I'm not really sure if it's gonna be able to handle this many. I did try and slow the pistons down. Um Ooh, what the heck? That block stayed there. How did that happen? I'm not sure how that block actually jumped onto this pressure plate. That's strange. Okay, we got the rest of them up here though. Let's try throwing like five items. So, one, two, three, four, five at different times as well is a good idea. Ooh, this looks like it actually worked really well. That actually looked like it worked perfectly, so we should have 33 items. Oh, perfect. Uh, now I'm thinking we just go for the bulk test. So right now all the sugar cane is in, um, and I want to just go for all of it. And we'll see, see what happens, see how much we get. I think from the farm I get just under two stacks of sugar cane, so we should have around two, two-ish stacks. I think it's about like a stack and 40 odd. Uh, I'm gonna need some sugar cane to activate this thing. Still haven't made any levers or anything. I'm thinking of making like a control station in the center part here, but uh, let's try it out. Okay, ping pong. Up. Okay, let's quickly go. I think we're going to probably miss some of it, but let's see. Okay, there it goes. I'm going to drop in this hole here so I can see. Okay, here it comes. Okay, see how it's all staggered like this? I'm worried this is going to create problems, but I guess we'll see. No way, this seems to be working. Despite all the items. It's good because it kind of stalls it, right? It pushes up like a block worth of items at a time. Oh my god, this is working. And it's still going. I think it did help that I slowed the pistons down on my test world. It was sometimes you'd lose some items, but that was mainly because the pistons were too fast. Oh my god, I think that actually worked. There's no... No problems here. This is first try as well. Like this is that, that was my first first try. Okay, let's put away this sugar cane. Uh yeah, that's all the sugar cane I have. We should have just under two stacks. Okay, sixty-four and thirty-one. I think that yeah, that's mainly the losses between that. Yeah, there's quite a bit of losses, but whatever. But that worked. That worked perfectly. Like first try. Oh my god. So the the only problem the only problem with this, uh, this design is that I'm, I need to have like these blocks, like these blocks here exposed. Like I can't have this double piston extender any other way. So like, it's almost going to be like, you know, this is the floor sort of thing and it'll just have these kind of sticking up, which is a little annoying, but we might be able to make, so we might be able to make a cool design out of it. I'm thinking honestly, 
this might just be this floor might just be glass anyway so you can kind of look down and see what's going on because i've always liked that i always like kind of seeing what's happening when there's redstone around me but i can't believe that works so perfectly first try i'm actually very impressed and the thing is depending on how we have it obviously if we do a full full harvest like that i mean it, it kept up fine um but if we leave it to kind of go on its own it'll just keep going like that that was that was perfect oh my god hell yeah Okay, so a bit of time has passed since that last clip, and as you can see, I've done a bit of cleaning up and a bit of decoration. Um, first, most notably, I've made this a glass floor, so you can kind of look down and see what's happening. Um, and yeah, like I said before, these are kind of sticking up a bit awkwardly, so I may need to have to try and like rework this double piston extender a bit to try and get these down, but everything I've tried so far has not worked, so yeah, for now these are going to have to stick up here. Um, but yeah, I've done some cleaning up, uh, made everything down here cobblestone, um, except for that control panel. Um, yeah, just to kind of, I don't know, make it a bit more neater and nice. And I kind of like the idea that anybody visiting will come up these stairs and be able to watch it from under here. I've got these open right now, not sure if they'll stay open so that you can freely walk in, but I kind of like it. kind of like that you can walk in and out freely. Um, uh, we do have a control panel here, so when this is down... Uh, syndrome. <clears throat> what? Anyway, when this is down, uh, the farm is off. There's no automatic control or anything. It's just completely off. Um, you know, just letting the sugar cane grow. When it's up, uh, there's a piston that retracts. Um, I didn't really show it before, but over here, uh, there's... Oof. See that sugar cane back there? There's that block of cobblestone that retracts. So when the lever is up, that retracts, that allows the sugar cane to grow, which will activate the bud switch, which will, uh, you know, continually, continuously make the farm grow. When the switch is down, the block gets pushed across the top so the sugar cane can't grow, and uh, yeah, the farm is essentially off. And then lastly, there is this manual harvest button, which we can press here, and you can kind of hear it happen, <laughs> but you don't get to see it. Um, and yeah, all of the... Uh, the sugar cane will get harvested at once and make its way down here into the uh, this uh, piston contraption. Um, we also have a sort of service hatch door, and this is basically just to lead to all the redstone behind. Nothing too interesting. But see how the pistons, you know, it's sort of because the way the sugar cane comes in, it's all staggered, and you know, it all comes in flowing like this. I want to find a way to make it so that it all collects in one point, then a piston drops down, and then it all flows and all goes up at once. I feel like that, as cool as this is, I feel like it would be very satisfying to have it all just go up in one go, you know. So I think that might be the next thing I do, is actually try and find a way to stagger it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and then have it go up. And I don't really know how to do that without just a massive array of of repeater delay. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. Okay, so here's what like a hundred repeaters on full tick delay looks like. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them. And uh, yeah, we've actually been able to use this to uh, to get the effect we want. So I'll, I'll quickly go out and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, it's pretty much, oh, let me just press this button. Uh, I don't know if it's full harvest yet, I assume it is. So, I've basically got, sounds like a full harvest, basically got this block pushed up, um, and then it takes about 40 to 50 seconds for all of the, uh, sugar cane to, like, once it's harvested, get down the water streams and into this block, and it's pretty much exactly perfect. Um, basically just as the last one comes in, this drops down and then it all goes up at once. And personally, I think it's way more satisfying, um, having done it a couple of times. So let's just watch this come in. I think you guys will enjoy it. Here we go. These are the last few. Coming in here now. Alright. So as these are coming in, boom, perfectly timed. How good's that? So good. And then it all gets pushed up in one go, which is super satisfying. And that's it. I think that's way more refined. I, th I feel like that's way more uh, satisfying to me personally. Let me get up here. Yeah, nice, like a stack and a half. 
Um, I've also spent some time here um, between clips. I closed off the roof area um, because obviously before it was opened up um, up here. Um, but I've closed it off now and I put some, some lighting in. It's kind of hard to see during the day like this. Um, at night it looks good. Even when it's raining it looks good. But with the glass texture being so so noisy, um, it's kind of hard to see. But it's alright. I don't know. I'm happy with it. Um, might have to darken this up because I think how bright it is here kind of de detracts from being able to see in there. And I cleaned this up behind here a little bit. I, I've left this kind of open. For some reason I kind of like it. I don't know if I want to change it. Um, and yeah, I've also been doing a bit of mining. I assume what I've done here, I'm going to probably replicate in some fashion in these four quadrants here because I've had to change up like the original design now that I've made this redstone machine here, which is fine. It looks way better. Um, and then I also mined out this huge area because we've got uh, the cactus farm coming up next. And as you can see, I've mined out this big area here and I've, I've kind of caved out this, uh, this top part. And that's mainly because I want to, like, detail all this sand and stuff, but I need to do that after I get these farms in, otherwise it'll be a bit of a hassle, like, you know, breaking in blocks that I've already placed and whatever like that. So, we're going to work on the cactus farm next at some point. Alright, but I'm going to take a break from this project now. And, uh, yeah, because we have six new members added to the Back to Beta server, they are Grey, Gory, Mayan... 1001, Deadly Dirt Block, Egg Fing, and Gengar Juice. Welcome to the server, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be great to have them. And uh, yeah, I've got a couple of clips to show you guys of sort of the first interactions, I guess, with some of the new members, not all of them. But yeah, I'll show you guys those clips right now. No, he has red mushrooms. I thought he had brown mushrooms in here somewhere. Oh, oh, you're just like fine. looting his. <laughs> yeah, his I stole four mushrooms from his mine. So Yo. <laughs> I gotta start my own farm somewhere. <laughs> Especially since someone is charging for the wheat at the bread shop. Hey, you can okay. Yeah, you can take the. I, look, I don't know if you noticed. There's no. There's no. There's no price on the bread. You can take the bread. That's all free. Oh, wait, is there not? I just, did, uh, yeah, I the, the, the price attention. on the bread is just to hey. tell you to get wheat. <laughs> Feel free to grab any of the bread you want. They have plenty. I did steal a sword out of here. That's Actually, fine. You know, I'm gonna put it back because I can make my own sword now. What's that this, sword uh, ability? The, the hanging gardens are made by Jaren, right? Yeah. Well, most of this stuff over here is all made by Jaren. Like yeah. That, I, I, that I, yeah. And, yeah. Oh wait, he's got a house as well now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He made like a mansion. It's got nothing in it right it's now. More but... active than I thought. Yeah, he's been. He's he comes on. He's been pretty active. He hasn't been. He hasn't been on for a couple of weeks though. But sometimes he'll come months. in and just. He, he was on in January, that was his last time on. Cool. Was it? I could probably check. Yeah, we recorded the Spleef video, that was his last time on, I think. Nah, no, no, I've, seen him, I've, seen him on, I've seen him on a couple of times after that. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just, the last time he was on was going back home. Yeah. Hello. What's up? Doesn't have a... I'm, I'm just like... Snooping. I love snooping to chests. Mostly because <laughs> yeah. I've got so many chests in my world that I constantly look in them to remind myself what's there. Yeah. Two ah, chest snooping is like the best thing to do in this game <laughs> when you're on a server. Okay. Yeah. You join a new server, immediately start yeah. stealing everyone. <laughs> well, yeah, the best thing about beta is, is there's no chest opening sound, so they can't even tell yeah, that no you're one can even know. snooping through their stuff. Exactly, how would they know? Yeah. <laughs> even though you're looking at a chest for like 10 seconds at a time, you're probably just having a look, you know? Well, you're just lagging. Yeah. Did you Maybe see their do... arm like flying at the chest when they open it though? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's true. Can. Wait. But if they can't see you, then they can't Open see you. Open just real quick, Boxer. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, you can see the arm. But look at this, I'm I'm in the chest right now. Yeah, but you're I'm, like looking to the I'm side. I'm looking the opposite to... Yeah, I'm opposite I feel like, I feel oh, like wait, I... am I? Yeah, you are. Uh, yeah, see, I'm looking like basically a dock right yeah. now. Yeah. But I'm yeah, in the chest. Look at me. And, and and if you and if you open the chest, wait, wait. if you open the chest right, and walk at the same time, you could walk away from the chest. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to do. I was... Yeah, oh, there we yeah, go. Back um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Back I think it depends on like the server you're on, because it was really easy on Mongtopia, and then on Pooproft I couldn't do it at all. Yeah, I got it there. Yeah, I think it depends. Oh my god, Mount oh. Betamore is going to be so clogged. 
<laughs> yeah, what are we? Yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah, we got to try and like yeah. spread them out or something. <laughs> I don't know why someone built a mansion up there because you, you could have just expanded upwards. Yeah, now we're gonna have to small. expand downwards, I guess. Yeah. What's this uh, server screenshot thing, by the way? Spamming my chat. What? Oh man, am I? Wow. Is this one of the? I'm I'm trying out a new instance and mm -hmm. like. Every ten seconds, it's saying server screenshot taken. I think you've. I think you've, me. I think oh, I've got, got some late something, to, something to weird going on. Something. Yeah, you've got something weird <laughs> yeah. going on that doesn't happen. For Ryan's got to go back to his his schizo ranting after the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Deadly, I like how you've got like the the cherry <clears throat> the cherry shirt. You look like you're on vacation. I like it with the cape. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's chill. Scary. Yeah, I was actually using um my. Before I got the cake, the shirt was uh, dark blue with the white flowers. But then the cherry cake came out, yeah. and I, it was it was so easy just to recut just the to job, change it. Yeah, um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, now I've got to wear this all year round. Though I mean, it's a, it's like March now. I feel like obviously well, for you it's summer. Yeah, but, for me it's well, summer. I used, to, I used to change my skin with the season. I did this in spring of 2013, and just never, yeah, <laughs> never changed it. No, yeah. hey, hello, oh, it's oh. time to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello World yeah. always enters Morning. with the best the best one liners. Thank you. I can okay, agree. anything. Is that your skin mine? <clears throat> hey, look at all these new nerds. Yeah. Look at all these I don't losers. think we've ever played Minecraft together before. It's the first time I've seen your skin. Look, look at us all yeah. people together. Yeah. Hang on, no, hang on. Yeah, what? These, these are all normal slabs, and then <laughs> someone <laughs> has placed two crash slabs here. I think someone accidentally <laughs> made some crash slabs that needed to get rid of them. I, I feel like there's, there's a couple that are just like like spurring about of this like I don't know this little ridge here along the water so they probably just ran out of slabs and then grabbed them <laughs> oh is this what is this uh Did yeah you... by the way box player stole some drops from the bottom of the mine no the farm so... the mob farm is the word I'm looking for I can't, oh, I can't believe okay. I've done that yeah, I've realized what the server screenshot taken is what is it <laughs> whenever I press C to zoom in with Optifine oh right <laughs> it, it but takes a screenshot as well. You gotta let refine let me that. Get my full <laughs> oh, you're gonna have like oh a million God. screenshots. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, you tried the, the you tried the spiral. Oh think. yeah, yeah. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I haven't. Obviously, you had a video come out of this, but yeah, I uh, I did your thing. I there's if you come down the bottom, the thing you yeah. suggested I actually built down here, and oh, then I yeah. and then I made a staircase with pistons just as on my own. As soon as I comment that, I went and like spent thirty minutes trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, I could do. I'll, I'll do a harvest now, and it'll all it'll all make its way up. Nice. Oh, I, I it, originally originally as it came through, it like kept activating the pistons um, because obviously it was staggered. But I put like a, a delay on like a block there, so then it all comes up at the same time, nice. or at least it should. It takes about it takes about a minute for the full harvest. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be a better way of hiding this other than yeah. these two like ugly glass blocks. Yeah, I know. I've been I've been trying to find out a way, but I've been I don't know. I haven't tried. Oh, you too can hard, just but... just uh, the problem with the problem like re-root with... the redstone along here, right? Or is it gonna? Well, the problem with powering like, the block the below this is that it powers the the top piston too early, and it just like it just powers the top piston straight away rather than letting it oh, pit, like yeah come up. But huh. I'm sure there's a way. But yeah. Yeah, whatever. What's that? Oh. Nice. A stack and 49, not bad. Yeah, sounds about I'll be right. Up. Yep, feel free. I've got so many now. It is it is it does have quite a few losses, yeah. I guess, but it doesn't really matter. I've got so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the thing with these kinds of farms, it's like how many bookshelves does a man really need? Exactly. You know? And the thing is I I mean I have this is like you can actually have it so that it's like automatic as well so it's constantly farming mm. but i don't know why i would ever need that <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i'm not the biggest fan of the the full auto myself because i yeah. feel like the items are just going to be sitting on the ground for five minutes yeah unless exactly. you're right there yeah, yeah I, I, I like i like to have i like to have the option but i yeah, i never yeah, use yeah. it i never use it <laughs> full auto farms i only really like in modern just because you got hoppers to pick yeah. it up yeah, yeah. yeah you can just put it in items on the ground at all times yeah. 
You know, I've actually um, got, I've never shown in my video, I've got a partial replica of your storage room here, because remember <laughs> that stream where you're trying to do your secret entrance? I was like, okay, I'm going to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that was that was a I bad just, stream. <laughs> that was a I bad just kind of gave up after about 15 minutes. Yeah, so I, I, I gave up too. There. I have, I mean, I have the entrance, but I just don't have an exit. Like, there's still this button here to go down, but... There's no way out. <laughs> I did actually add yeah. recently a new a new little way to come down here, which leads to more cobblestone storage because I I just have so much cobblestone. <laughs> I, I did this like yesterday. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You have more cobblestone in your oh. let's play world. Actually, no. This is about the equivalent of what I Three, have. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, and then it's like what? Like, what's down here? Twenty one. Oh. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, like about 30-odd double uh, Actually, you probably have a little bit more than me, because especially towards the end of the, uh, till recently of the perimeter, I haven't been really bothered storing it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> it's just, like, not even worth mm -hmm. it. That's fair. One Train station. Oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's oh, yeah, another that's area. Station. That needs, I, that needs, that needs finishing. <laughs> it's not done. Because <laughs> I've got to do some boat testing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, the yeah. thing with the train station is you you made this train station to have rail links and then you just built another hub instead, which yeah. completely yeah ma makes I, it completely I, I, I redundant. I think having both is good because you can yeah. have like a cool rail line, or if you really need to get somewhere fast, you use another. Yeah. Yeah, but how many times have you seen people using the rail line on this server? Though? I like, use the rails the, a lot. Yeah. I use I them use, for like yeah, um, I use the rails for single play all the time. I mean, I, I use them to get to Captain Cat's hub. base or like the last blocks, but. This, the only one is from kit to Captain Oh, Cat, just, but... just wait until I make yeah. my passive mob farm 4,000 blocks out and it's accessible only by mm -hmm. <laughs> So I assume oh. the observatory is uh, is Jaren's as well. Yeah, that's Jaren's, yep. It's, it's just like, it puts down so much random stuff, but it's cool. Yeah, he said, that's, he said that's how he likes to do it. He likes to just put down random yeah. stuff in the same space. What's the purpose of this glass thing? I've seen this so many times in videos. <laughs> that was farm. that was built so early on. That was built like day one. Yeah. I'm not oh, sure who built it. I think it was. I think no, it was... no, not the flower farm. This is just like hollow yeah. out in the water. I, I'm, I can't just... remember who built it. I think it might have been Kelphone, maybe. Uh, yeah, this was built like day one, and that's it. That's it. That's all I know about it. <laughs> it's just <laughs> this glass. Like I saw you oh, having yeah. to like negotiate around it for the ice a yeah. little bit. Uh, reading the sign feels like a cell phone thing, so... Yeah, I think, I th is. I think it is. It just he seems like the, the type of person who'd be too lazy to <laughs> boat across. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was cell phone, as far as, far as I can guess, but... Uh, I the the pillars of box. I really like them. The yeah, it's kind of a cool, cool way to store things. This is Jaren, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, all Jaren's Jaren. space. I like his uh, oil drill that goes to my boat. Oh, wow, yeah. that goes all the, way, all the way down. Yeah, that was the first thing he built. Yeah. No bedrock hole though. No. no. We should get that done. I gotta got, got to set one of those up. Mine the trunk all the way down to the void. Yeah. Well, Monster found a naturally generated hole in the bedrock, which is cool. Yeah, I've been looking yeah. for like one cool. of those. Every time I. Go they feel kind of you know mysterious and all that. Yeah. 